What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 20 minute full body deep stretch. So have a seat on your mat and let's get started. What's up guys? I'm so excited that you're here today spending this time to work on a full body deep stretch. Make sure you include this a couple times throughout the week so you can keep your body recovering well and stay mobile for your posture and your balance, okay? So let's start off with a wide stance today, okay? Big deep breath in before we start. Good, and I'm gonna have you take your arms up overhead in two, one, grab onto your fingertips and pull over to the right. Keep your hips open, keep your chest open. We're gonna hold some positions today to make sure you feel that muscle relaxing and lengthening. And come back to the middle, switch sides. Good, big deep breath in. Think about pulling your arm up and over. Good, take it back to the middle. One more time, each side. Over to the right. Good, keep your hips centered. And switch it back over to the other side. One last big pull up and over. Four, three, two, one. Good, come back up, release your hands. Hands right on your thighs and keeping your back straight. You're gonna hinge forward, taking your hips back, back, back. Okay, stopping when you feel your back starting to round. Okay, so only go as low as you can keep it flat. And keep shifting the weight back into your heels. If you can keep your back flat all the way down to your ankles, go there. But if it's right here, stay right here and just keep pushing the hips back to feel a good hamstring stretch. Go take both your hands over to your right foot and then drop your chest down. You can go ahead and round your back a little bit. Beautiful, come back into the middle and take it over to the left foot, round your back. Big pull over towards your quad. Good, and back in the middle. Relax your back, just kind of let it hang. You can let your arms hang. Grab onto your elbows if you would like and let your head hang between your biceps. Big deep breath out. Beautiful. All right, hands down in front of you. Let's go into a pike position or down dog. Okay, dropping your right heel down to the floor. Push back into that heel. Good stretch for your calf. We've got the other leg. Just kind of here for support, but we're mainly focusing on one calf at a time. Come up onto your toes and switch. Take it down, other heel to the floor. Great job, switch it back over. First leg, and if you can walk your hands out a little bit more while keeping your heel down, go ahead, get a little bit deeper. Four, three, switch it over, in two, one. Here we go. Back to the second foot, keeping your knee right over your ankle. Four, three, two, one, and come down to your hands and knees. Just go ahead and bend your knees. Great job. All right, big deep breath in. Exhale. Good. Relax your spine as you breathe in, filling up your lungs. And then exhale, lift. Good, inhale, drop it down. Exhale, lift, and one more. Inhale, exhale, lift. Beautiful, walk your hands forward. 
and drop your hips down to the floor. If this is too much for you on this first round, you can go elbows and push up here. Okay, whatever stretches you and gets some good pressure on your low back. Here we go. And slowly lower back down to the floor. Just rest here for a second and we'll push back up one more time. All right, two, one, and let's go back up. There you go. See if you can lift your chest a little higher, open it up. There we go. Big deep breath in and out. Good. Pull your core in and shift your hips back over your calves. Reach your hands out front. Good. Pull your hands back in about halfway and then take them a little bit wider than your mat. Okay, lift your body weight up and I want you to shoot your elbows to the side, dropping your chest down to the floor. So really good stretch here in your chest, your shoulders. Good, come back up and let's take it one more time. Wide hands, elbows go to the side, big stretch. Beautiful, come back up. Let's take the left arm under the body, drop the shoulder to the floor and push and twist. Good, go ahead and switch again. Come up, drop the other shoulder. Use that top arm to push and twist. Perfect, back up into the middle and let's work just a second on the forearms, okay? So take your fingertips, point them back toward your knees and you might be totally fine right here or you can come up and then bend your arms a little bit, okay? So wherever you are, I want you to feel that stretch right in here. So if you can twist them all the way back, sit back, and then if you can lean or bend your elbows back, let's go there. If not, I want you to come up top, pull here, and then just bend the elbows, all right? Great job, rest for a second, just roll your wrists around. There we go. All right, let's go one more time. Big stretch. And this is great for if you're holding dumbbells a lot or barbells working on your pull-ups. Anything using your grip strength requires those forearm muscles to be really firing. Okay, so they could get tired and tight. Sometimes pulling on your elbow joint a little bit. Okay, so just make sure you take this into account. All right, come back into your tabletop position and we're gonna take that left leg right outside your left hand, okay? Take it up and then let's walk that hip down. Okay, see if you can open your chest up a little bit. And some people will be just fine right here, feeling the stretch in their hip flexor. But if you can go lower, I want you to go ahead and go there. Great job. And go ahead and tuck your back toes down, okay? Using your hands and your front leg, push up into the air so both legs are straight. And hold this hamstring stretch here. Great job. Take it back down. And let's add a twist to it this time. So turn your chest over toward the front leg. You can use your hand to push here and turn. Good spinal rotation. There you go. And back into the middle. Let's go straight leg again. Push into your hands and your front foot. Good. Perfect. And let's take that leg, the front leg, and we're gonna cross it down under. So dropping your knee and your shin down to the floor. 
Okay, you can drop your back leg down as well. Some people will be totally fine with a stretch staying right here. Okay, if you feel it really good in your back, glutes, and psoas, stay right here. Okay, if you can, you can inch that back leg away a little bit and drop your hips down to face the mat. Now, the most important thing here is your hips stay straight. Okay, so if you can, inch down to the mat, and then if you can, fold over. Okay, just keep breathing. You're doing fantastic. You should feel this in that bent leg all in the front. Great job. Let's inch a little bit lower if you can. If you feel good right there, stay right there. And beautiful. Walk your hands back in. Okay, and we're gonna take this front leg and put it on top of our knee here. Okay, so another really good glute stretch. There we go. And you wanna get your chest up as close to your shin as you can. So I like to straighten my spine and then push forward. There you go. Perfect, and then last stretch with this foot. Flatten the bottom leg, and you're gonna take your bent leg, grabbing it either behind your hamstring or your calf if you're a little bit more mobile. Lay back with it, and one last hamstring stretch. Good pull. There we go. It's a great stretch to start off your day with, to close it out with. Good, pull your toes back towards your knee. If you can grab onto your toes, go ahead and grab there. Pull. There we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. You can relax that leg, and we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? So we'll start off with our, I'll flip it around here, runner's lunge, okay, with your opposite leg. So the leg that you just stretched is now your back leg. All right, runner's lunge. For me, this is my left leg out front. Okay, get your hips in, neutral pelvis. Great job. If you can work on opening your chest up, go there, continuing to drop your hips down. There we go. All right, take your back foot, tuck your toes down. Using your hands and your front leg, push. Get your hips up in the air. Both legs are straight, and let's get a good hamstring stretch here. There we go. Good, go ahead and bend your front knee. Take it back down. And just like last time, you can add that twist in out front. So put your hand on your front leg. Big push and twist. Here we go. Continuing to drop your hip down. Good. Feels great, right? Keep relaxing. Come on back into the middle. Let's push it up again. Okay, toes down. Push. And then we'll take that leg, the front leg, right back underneath again. Okay, so if you need to bend it, kind of walk it back and then drop it down, knee and shin. Okay, if you wanna stay here, that's fine. If you feel a good stretch right here, stay there. If you can, go a little lower and drop your hips to the floor. And again, the goal here is to make sure your hips are straight. So if you are low, but your hips are open, we're not getting as much out of the stretch as we could for the targeted area. Okay, so drop it down. Ease into it. We'll stay here for about 30 seconds. Just want you to breathe into getting deeper as you go. Good. 
10. Last 10 seconds, let's go a little lower if you can. Amazing, good job. Let's slowly make our way back up. Okay, good job with that stretch. And we're gonna scoop that back leg up again with the front leg now being on top. Okay, sit up nice and tall and a big push with the chest going toward the shin. Think of your, sh uh, your shin and your spine kind of being perpendicular. Great job. Four, three, two, and one. Good, flatten that front leg out or your bottom leg out. Take the top leg, grab and roll back. Here you go. You can grab on your hamstring. If that feels okay for you, slide it on up and pull. And as things start to stretch out and calm down, Go ahead and pull your toes back toward your knee. Great job. Perfect, all right. Let's relax that leg and come up to a seated position. Okay, you can go crisscross applesauce right here in the middle. All right, let's relax the shoulders down a little bit. Dropping your left shoulder, lean your head over and away from it. So we'll stretch all along the left neck and trap. Gonna add a little gentle pull if that feels okay. Great job, come back up in the middle and let's stretch the right side neck and trap. So take it away. Make sure your shoulder is relaxing down and not coming up with your body, okay? Think about your ear and your shoulder getting as far away from each other as they can. Gentle pressure if you would like. Good, come back into the middle. All right, let's stretch the left side again. Over, over, over. Good. Take your chin down toward your chest now, okay? And then I want you to take your right hand, grabbing kind of on the back crown of your head, and pull your chin down toward your chest a little bit more. Good, and remember, keep your shoulders down. There you go. Come on back up. Let's take it over to the other side again. Going to the left, stretching your right neck and trap. And then drop your chin down a little bit more toward your chest. Add a little pull here if you would like. Good, back in the middle, take that left arm across your body, grab it and pull. And you can feel free to add in the next stretch with this. It always helps me to make sure my shoulder is dropped and I'm pulling across. Then I'm stretching my head away from that shoulder. Good job, same thing with the other side. Cross it over. And then stretch your neck if you would like. Great job. All right, bring it back in the front here. Hands on your knees and we're just gonna practice some breathing and spine stretches, okay? So big deep breath in. As you exhale, let your spine float back and stretch. Good, breathe in, set up. Open your chin to the sky, exhale, float it back. 
Inhale, open it up again. Exhale. Two more, big inhale. Last one, big deep breath in. Exhale. Great job, come back up to neutral. Big deep breath in and just let your whole body relax. Beautiful. And you have made it through your 20 minute full body deep stretch. You can make your way on up to standing or you can just stay here, kind of continue hitting the areas that you feel you need some more stretching in. So if you find maybe the hamstring stretch felt really good for you or maybe the neck stretch, take a couple minutes and just hit that stretch a little bit more. Big things coming tomorrow for the channel, so make sure you check out all the info in the description below. The Ignite program officially starts tomorrow, and I want you guys to get started with me, okay? So, info is in the description. I will see you there tomorrow, and have an amazing day. Before you head out, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, and then subscribe to the channel. Comment below that you are ready for Ignite, and I'll see you then. Bye, guys.